Well, here we have a very interesting and sophisticated way to manipulate the price of gold. Let's say the spot price of an ETF on the market at a certain moment in time is $1,005. This means that traders at that moment in time are willing to pay $1,005 to buy an ETF and there are traders willing to sell an ETF for $1,005. But on the trading floor there will also be some traders whose offers are a little more offset the ETF spot price. Let's say at that time the total range of sell offers varies from $998 an ETF to $1,012 an ETF. Under normal circumstances, chances are sell and buy orders cancel out each other in between the range of $1,001 and $1,009 an ETF. The thing is that markets like NASDAQ offer trading firms the service of so-called flash orders that allow these firms to get a sneak peek at the buy and sell orders 30 milliseconds before they are shown to everyone else. For a human trader there is no use of obtaining a look at the orders 30 milliseconds before the rest of the traders. But when you have supercomputers at your disposal that run scripts enabling them to process this data and place buy and sell orders within the range of these 30 milliseconds you can engage in front running. Using immediate or sell orders supercomputers can scan the trading range and detect what the lowest price in the market is ETFs are being sold for. Within 30 milliseconds these computers can place buy orders aimed at the lowest selling offer. In the example depicted on this slide the supercomputer detects there is a trader offering ETFs to the market at the bottom price of $998. Given the spot price chances are there are a lot of buyers willing to buy the ETF at the price well over $1000. Under normal circumstances sellers will obtain a price for uh, this ETF well over $998. But not as this time, when high frequency traders are joining in and place their buying orders. They will get it at the lowest detected selling price of $998. When doing these trades on a large scale, it's possible to artificially offset the spot price of gold to lower levels than they would be in a market where no frequen high frequency trading would occur. So, high frequency trading has the potential to manipulate the price of gold and other markets as well.